This man is such a gift to the world in so many ways. I wish everybody in the world could meet him. And I'll just treasure every moment that we got to spend with him. This is by Mark Lambie. It's been more than 50 years since the Reverend Father Geraldo Ram, a Jesuit priest, cruised the streets of Segundo Barrio on his bicycle, stopping to talk to people in the neighborhood or reach out to gang members. Ram, now 96, will return to El Paso next week to a huge welcome. The stories of Ram's influence on people, especially the youngsters, are so vivid today that it seems like he never left. In quotes, this is somebody who knew Father Ron. He had so much charisma, he was humble and genuine. He went around the neighborhood identifying issues. You could say he was one of the first that gave publicity to the substandard housing in South El Paso, the poverty and the health issues. He addressed all of that said Sal Balcorta, who was young when Ram served at Sacred Heart Church. Still changing lives, working with people with substance abuse problems in Brazil, Ram will be honored with the 2015 Segundo Barrio Person of the Year Award. And that's the article from the El Paso Times. I know that Grandpa mentioned how he's working with um, boys and opening homes for them all in Brazil. He also has been working with substance abuse problems. He has opened houses for street people, for the homeless, for alcoholics, drug addicts, and for prostitutes. And he has all of these homes all over the country. And in Brazil, he's considered a national hero for all the work that he's done there. The use up there. I think he influenced hundreds. Huh? Hundreds of boys. Hundreds of boys. And many of the professional businessmen in El Paso now, very successful doctors, lawyers, uh, business owners, etc., yeah, etc. A lot of them are calling, call themselves Father Rom's boys because that's how they were saved from going into the gangs. Here we are in the holy presence of God, the Holy Spirit, with the Ivy family. I'm going to use that word. There may be some other names because of intermarriage. But as far as I know, in one way or another, or maybe all, we're all Ivies, which is my first family, which I have told them in El Paso, and my first priest and best friend is Father Ronaldo, the pastor at Sacred Heart Church, and with them we ask God, always venerating the Virgin of Guadalupe, to bless us, to give us strength to bless the pecans and the cotton and whatever else we may grow. All of this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. I may not be here in 20, 30 years, but you will be. And one of these days, this guy is going to be proclaimed a saint. And then you can say, I met the man in person. <laughs>